Well, we've made it to Mud Volcano. This place is so stinky. It's a good time for me to actually put on my mask. But the reason I took it off is because there's hardly anybody here. Unbelievable. When we were here eight years ago, this place was so crowded, we didn't even walk this trail. We took a few pictures and went on our way to the next stop. But there, I, I counted on one hand the amount of people who are here right now. Oh my God, <laughs> I just inhaled some of that sulfur. I want to show you <clears throat> a couple of these places, but there are some people here, so I am going to put my mask back on. Um, but it's about a little bit more than a half mile walk. And there are 10 different mud pots, mud holes, fumaroles, which are like steam vents. And a lot of interesting history goes along with this area because like many other places and these uh, thermal structural structures here, they've changed over the years. There used to be mud geysers, but they don't erupt anymore. Um, in the 1870s, when this area was first discovered, uh, a lot of changes have happened since then. So let me show you just a couple of places over here. This one is called Dragon's Mouth Spring, and it is so stinky. I mean, the sulfur that comes out of here, it's, it's worse than rotten eggs. There's a place up the hill called Sour Lake, and it is so sour, the acidity is more than battery acid. That's how acidic it is. But look at this. Isn't that wild? Let me uh, move this so you can get a better view. They call it Dragon's Mouth because it looks like steam and noises coming out of a dragon's mouth. Crazy. Can you hear that? Like, like roaring. So that is one of the different mud holes here. Let me walk down the stairs. Be careful here. Okay, so now I've seen seven people here. <laughs> it is so, so quiet. But again, there are 10 different areas and uh, it's, it's 0.6 miles, so a little more than half a mile to walk it. The whole thing is on a boardwalk and there's signs all over the place telling you to stay on the boardwalk because it's dangerous. The, it's so acidic and hot, 160, 180 degrees. You can see these things bubbling. It's really crazy. So as we come around the curve here, yeah, there's quite a few more people coming here. So we'll make this stop quick. Um, it's another, another mud hole. Um, there was a, a little bit along the way, there was one that used to be a geyser, used to erupt, but now it's just a fumarole, which is just a, a steam vent. And it changes based on the weather. If there's more rain, it'll, it'll look different. This thing is really, really bubbling. I'm gonna turn around now so you can see it, so I don't have to get close to any people. But look at this, wow. See that? Crazy. And all of that steam coming up smells horrible. So again, having a mask with a filter is a good thing here. <laughs> so this one is called Mud Volcano. I'll get a little closer so you can get a good look. There you go. Just pausing for a minute so you can hear the sounds. It's pretty wild. So if I continued this way, which is one way, but they do have signs, safe distance, six feet. They really want everybody to, you know, stay on the path. Um, I'm not gonna go up this incline because I did it once and I was totally out of breath. And not because I'm out of shape, I just, you know, it's a very steep incline. And all three of us were huffing and puffing, including Sarah, who was 24, so I didn't feel so bad. But I'm just gonna turn around so you can get an idea of, of what, what it, there is over there. It's very beautiful, very, very beautiful. 
and uh, it doesn't take that long. I mean, you can, you can go through this in less than half an hour if you wanted to, but if you're stopping to take pictures and video like I am, it takes a little bit longer. You can spend an hour and a half. Depends how much you want to do. Crazy. I just, I'm just so amazed by this. Never seen anything like it in my life. I probably never will unless I come back here. <laughs> so, um, but it's cool to be back here after eight years. I'm going to take this down because I'm away from people at the moment. Um, like I said, the last time we were at Yellowstone was eight years ago, and uh, we, we were only here two and a half days. So I didn't get a chance to see all of these things. And there are so many things. We've been driving on some of these hidden off the beaten path roads that are just one way and they kind of loop around. So um, we've been able to, to see a lot of very interesting stuff. We're gonna make our way over to Canyon Village so we can see the waterfall there. There's actually um, a canyon. It's called Canyon of the Yellowstone. And I can't wait to get there and take some pictures and shoot some video and share that with you later. Um, I've kind of settled into a pattern where I do my, my blogs pretty late at night because we're an hour ahead. I mean, you're an hour ahead. We're on mountain time here. So by the time I'm posting, it's usually like 11 o'clock back in Chicago. But we'll try and get it done a little bit earlier tonight. In the meantime, I'm going to go have lunch. You guys have a great day. Bye.